Welcome back to Algonquin and Beyond. It's in South Elton, Illinois at Stanley's Sale House for Thursday Trivia. Good bites, good beer. So check us out, see what we ate and how well we played at Trivia. Okay, I'm checking out Stanley's menu here, and it is very large. You got uh, your starters, your regular apps. We chose the beer battered cheese curds and the beer cheese pretzels for our appetizers, but they have a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, they have all types of craft burgers, uh, salads, handhelds, big plates. They got a lunch menu, they got pizza, they got all kinds of beers and ciders. It's huge. I don't know what I'm going to order. So I did start off with um, a bite of the pretzel and it's super delicious, but I think my favorite are the cheese curds. Um, good mix, good crust, good gooey, gooey, cheesy cheese, and um, with, with ranch, so it, it's great, great bar food. Today I'm going to get the um, roasted chicken. Never had it in my life. Saw they had it. So what a perfect opportunity to try theirs. They said it's one of the best menu choices and very popular. So I'm looking forward to trying it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to try one of their unique craft burgers. And the one that caught my attention is called Scorched Earth, the giant killer. It is breaded and fried burger with pepper jack jalapenos, lettuce, and chipotle ranch. I'm going to give that one a go. We did come back home because Stanley's Ale House was very loud, and that's not a bad thing. It was it was a lot of fun. We definitely could have hung out a lot longer. After trivia, um, we got third place. Third place. So um, after trivia, they did have bingo, and everything was '90s theme. If I didn't have to work tomorrow. I wouldn't have been a Debbie Downer and we would have stayed to definitely have another beer and check out the bingo because it was so much fun. Um, everything was so good. So we're just going to explain what we had and show some pictures of, of the food. So hopefully you check it out. I do want to point out that I did start out with the Waka Rillo Forever beer. Waka Waka. <laughs> it was a recommendation because the one I originally picked was out but i was very happy it was very smooth good consistency super cold the way a beer should be and then the second recommendation was um it was called the wet snout and the description did say a peanut butter but just when it was put onto the table it t it smelled like um it smelled like a tootsie roll yeah tootsie roll and chocolate it, it was so like it just smelled really good and interesting i don't like tootsie rolls so i was pretty worried about trying it and saying oh god i hope this recommendation you know that i'm paying for a bad re recommendation but it was actually really good really smooth um the, the flavors weren't overpowering at all and it really just enhanced my food experience the way it should have been because I did order the roasted chicken, 
roasted chicken. Um, never had it my entire life. I know like growing up my, my mom and her friends were like, roasted chicken is great or um, in Hebron I hear their roasted chicken is great. Like I, I really never tried it and today it was so good. I didn't have to wait for it. It was um, timed perfect. And I just wanted to point out that it was probably the most tender chicken and juicy and steaming when you open up the skin. It was just really good flavor. So my entire life I've been missing out. So this place definitely has it down. The breading is perfect. The, um, the roasted chicken is just something you have to check out. As a side, I, um, it does come with a coleslaw and one choice, and I did get onion rings. and Which it, was an upgrade. It was an upgrade, but it was so worth it. You're having roasted chicken, so why not add onion rings to the plate? And it was, it was worth it. It was just really good. Everything was consistent. I was very happy with my meal. Um, what did you get? Well, I went with the Scorched Earth Giant Killer. It was one of their specialty burgers. Um, it sounded really interesting. It was actually a deep fried burger patty. Uh, it came with jalapenos, lettuce, tomato, um, a special sauce. I, I don't know, it was a spicy or ranch sauce. Um, never had a deep fried burger patty, didn't know what to expect. It was awesome loved it it was like uh, fried chicken but with a burger it was great and I would get it again for sure um, in fact I'll check other menus and see if they have such an option but um, loved it it was great I got the fries as a side the fries were like home style home cut fries also very good um, my plate was pretty much empty when I was done so I did enjoy that a lot and I, I will say that um, we did bring a family member, my sister, so thanks for joining us for trivia. It was so much fun. But we decided to split. So on top of the roasted chicken, I really wanted to try the, um, the shrimp. So it was a shrimp wrap, but it was Bahama shrimp wrap. The Bahama shrimp wrap. And wrap. it just had that, you know, that spicy sauce. The first bite was pretty intense. It was full of spice. but as you kept on eating it it was very good it was it was just a good mix of flavors it was a generous portion of shrimp it was greatly breaded and just everything just flowed together i i can't appreciate tonight's dinner more than i i did for a first timer everything was was great a good experience everybody was welcoming and even though our name was the out of towners for trivia we definitely didn't feel like that it was a good vibe, um, a good vibe in the restaurant, a good mix of people. I, I just think it was so welcoming and your first your first impression of the restaurant wouldn't be that we could walk in and you know go unnoticed, but it was like we've been going for weeks. Everybody was so friendly and the uh, the DJ for trivia was just really good. It just keeps us wanting to go back so or made us feel like we want to go back yeah and I agree I, I didn't quite know what to expect um, going to this place didn't know what the inside would be like we're like hey we'll just give it a shot I thought it was really cool in there I, uh, I enjoyed the atmosphere I felt perfectly comfortable and I could see going back and hanging out there again and doing trivia and it was a lot of fun yeah definitely um, and we did have to get a dessert to end up with. We didn't have to. We just chose I, to. I wanted it because I had two great beers. We had a filling meal. So why not end on a sweet note? And we asked what the dessert um, options were. And we stuck on the oh-so-sweet waffle. And it was a sugar waffle with ice cream drizzled, I think, with a very fine drizzle of chocolate, chocolate. sauce and a served in a skillet. We'll post a picture to show you. But right here. <laughs> or here or here. But I I feel that right oh my god. My like hands. if you have never had this sugar waffle, it was amazing. I and I'm not saying that because I had three beers, but <laughs> Or maybe that is why you're maybe. saying it, but and I'm saying it, and I only had <laughs> diet soda, so it was uh, actually, it was fairly small. I mean, it was good for two people to share. 
I could have eaten like four of them because they were so good. But yeah, she's right. It was it was something unique, something different, but just yeah. a really good flavor. I, I like that dessert a lot. And I know I said it in the past, but if certain items taste like this going forward or have in the past, I've been eating them all along. Sugar waffles or this uh, waffle coated in sugar was, I don't even need the ice cream on top to make a sundae, but... The, you just, just walk around town just <laughs> gnawing on your waffle. <laughs> just this mixture of waffle and ice cream and sugar galore was was amazing. I think you need to solely stop by, if not for the roasted chicken and the good beer. I mean, you need to try this uh, sugar waffle, so. Pop in for trivia, eat some sugar waffles, <laughs> you're good to go. <laughs> So Robin was our server tonight at the restaurant. She was really great, um, very attentive, came by to check and see how things were going. Um, just really good personality, easy to talk to, gave great recommendations. So huge shout out to Robin. Ooh, Robin nice. That wraps up another episode of Two Algonquin and Beyond. We did go to Stanley's Ale House in South Elgin, just south of Elgin Community College. Stanley's. Yay. And um, as a reminder, we are on Instagram. I, I'd say that's our predominant social media outlet. So any comments, like us, share us, and also comment down below subscribe to our youtube channel and smash that like button we'll see you soon Bye bye